So I'm near the airport again, and there may be a plane that goes overhead during this video. I apologize in advance. Uh, Jackson Rip Holmes, uh, aren't we all perhaps in the situation now where we're in a quasi-emergency financially, and uh, you always think, well, don't tell people your problems, right? Uh, never let them see you sweat. On the other hand, if... Um, <coughs> I'm doing it anyways because uh, I want to get the word out of what my problem is, make people aware of it, uh, and uh, you never know. Someone may see what I'm putting out there and have some helpful advice. I welcome any advice. So what is my problem? Um, I'm a uh, mom-and-pop retail property owner, and the good news is that the uh, stimulus bill that was just passed uh, gives money to compensate uh, retail stores that have, like in Miami-Dade County, they're shut down by emergency order uh, on March 19th. Like, thank you very much. I won't get into the politics or my dis, uh, illusionment with that occurrence, which I disagree with. Uh, but the thing is that this bill, if, it, if it's fully funded, uh, is gives uh, forgives payment, repayment of the loan, as long as the money is spent to maintain the store's place. That is the, the payment of its rent, the payments of employees, so they don't go elsewhere. And um, then when I realized that the only, Congress only allocated 350 billion dollars to this, it just seems to me, and I'm getting confirmation that uh, this is actually. Uh, way underfunded. So my problem then is getting Congress to fully fund this, right? Because they say, oh yeah, well you're entitled to it, but by the way, there's no money. Um, you know, maybe the fortunate few get in there and the rest are saying, yeah, well, we're entitled, but there's no money. So now that they're beginning to think about a fourth uh, coronavirus stimulus package, uh, I just uh, reached out to the uh, National Retail Federation, and uh, they would be the ones lobbying for this. Um, so I um, hope you'll say a prayer.